Hi students, good morning. Hope you all are doing good. As we all know, wash your hands frequently, use sanitizer, wear mask and stay safe, stay home. Today, I am going to give you a treat. This is a toffee box. I have some toffees in it. All these toffees are for you, my dears. Do you like toffees? Do you want to get these toffees? Okay, I will give you toffees. You can demand how many toffees you want. Okay, we can start from roll number one. Roll number one, how many toffees you want? Two toffees. Okay, I will give you two toffees. Now, roll number two, how many toffees you want? You want three toffees. I will give you three toffees for you. Now, roll number three. How many toffees you want? You want five toffees. Okay, I will give you five toffees. Oh my God, there is no more toffee left in this box. What can we do now? Your old classmates are waiting for toffees. What can we do to get them more toffees? If there is a condition that you cannot share your toffees. What can we do? Can you suggest any idea to get your classmates toffees? Okay. The only solution is that we can add more toffees to this box and then ask them to demand their number of toffees. That is the only way to get your friend's toffees. Right? Okay. Imagine that you are all plants and you are planted in a crop field like this box. In our box, there are toffees. And in our plant crop field, there are some nutrients and elements like these toffees. If some of the plants take much of the nutrients, what will happen to the rest of plants? They will not get enough nutrients. Right? Look kids, these are two separate plants. They are in the same pot. Observe closely. Can you identify which plant got most of the nutrients? Is it is the first one or second one? Yes, the second plant got most of the nutrients. Because these two plants are in the same pot, there is a deficiency of nutrients. As we add more toffees to this box to get everybody's sweets, we can add fertilizers to the pot or field to get every plant's enough nutrients. Today, we are going to learn about fertilizers. After this class, you will be able to define fertilizers and you will be able to classify different types of fertilizers. As we already mentioned, we can add nutrients to the soil by adding fertilizers. Could you prepare a definition for fertilizers? This is your first activity. Prepare a definition for fertilizers. And also list out the names of different fertilizers that you know. Am I clear students? Prepare a definition for fertilizers and prepare a list of fertilizers that you know. The time given for this activity is 3 minutes. You should complete this activity within these 3 minutes. So please take your notebooks and start writing your answers. Your time starts now. Students, hope you all are doing this activity and your time is going to end soon. Your time is end in 3 seconds. 3, 2, 1, 0. 
Your time is up, students. Please put your pens down. Fertilizer is essentially the plant food. It is added to replenish nutrients that people indirectly extract from the soil by harvesting plants. In non-agricultural ecosystem, the nutrients removed by plants are returned to the soil after the plants die and decompose. On farms, some of these nutrients are removed in the form of harvested crops. So, it is often necessary to replace them with fertilizers. Look at these orange plants. I planted both of these in the same day. But as you can see, one has a standard growth and the other one is way more healthier than other. Now you are able to say the reason behind it, right? Yes, tell me what is the reason behind the standard growth of this short plant? Yes because of the lack of fertilizers. Observe carefully. Can you find any other differences? Yes, an yellow discoloration is found in the leaves of this short plant. Very good. This is the symptom of the need of fertilizer. Yes, Plants show many symptoms when there is a need of fertilizers. Students, you all wrote a definition for fertilizers in a notebook, right? Now, I will give you a definition. Just watch this definition and compare it with your definition. Okay? The definition of fertilizers. Fertilizer is a substance that added to the soil to make soil more fertile. Fertilizer is a substance that added to the soil to make soil more fertile. In our first activity, I already mentioned that you should prepare a list of fertilizers that you know. Hope you all wrote that. Now, please take your notebook and take your list. I will give you the names of some fertilizers. Please check whether it is present or absent in your list. If it is absent, please write that too in your notebook. Okay? Uh, the names of fertilizers are slurry, potash, urea, humus, algae, leaf manure, sodium nitrate, NPK, pea plant, wood ash, cow dung, asola, ammonium nitrate and microbial fertilizers. Hope you all wrote most of these names already in your list. If anyone missed any of them, you can add now. Now, you learned about the definition of fertilizers. What do you mean by fertilizer? Fertilizer is a substance added to the soil to make soil more fertile. And you have the, some examples of fertilizers. Which are they? Can you name some of the fertilizers? Yes, NPK, ammonium nitrate, urea, then Okay, pea plant, green manure, oh, very good. Okay, then microbial fertilizers, okay, asola, okay, then slurry, very good, slurry, wood ash, cow dung, okay, enough, enough. You already learned the definition of fertilizers and the examples of fertilizers. Farmers who fertilize the soil using fertilizers have different choice of fertilizers. There are mainly three types of fertilizers. They are chemical fertilizers, bio fertilizers and green leaf manure. As the name indicate, chemical fertilizers are 
some chemical substances that we are use to fertilize our soil and bio fertilizers are some biological materials that we use to make our soil more fertile the third one is green leaf manure in that fertilizer we use some green leaves to make our soil more fertile so mainly there are three types of fertilizers they are chemical fertilizers bio fertilizers and green leaf manure all these fertilizers have the ability to increase the fertility of soil but as we all know chemical substances are not good for our environment if we add excess amount of chemical fertilizers into the soil it will affect our environment very badly it will pollute the soil it will pollute the water bodies and it will affect the microorganisms live in the soil and it will also affect us so it is better to reduce the amount of chemical fertilizers and add more bio fertilizers or green leaf manure now you have a list of fertilizers with you and you already know the different types of fertilizers which are the different types of fertilizers chemical fertilizers bio fertilizers and green leaf manure very good now you have to classify the names of fertilizers into these different types of fertilizers this is your second activity classify the list of fertilizers into chemical bio and green leaf manure classify the list of fertilizers into chemical fertilizers bio fertilizers and green leaf manure the time given for this activity is 3 minutes you have to complete this activity within this 3 minutes are you ready okay then take your notebook and start doing this activity your time starts now students hope you are doing this activity your time is going to end now your time will end in 3 seconds 3 2 1 your time is up please put your pens down hope you all did this activity correctly we can check whether it is correct or not fertilizers which comes under chemical fertilizers are urea potash npk ammonium nitrate and sodium nitrate fertilizers which comes under bio fertilizers are worm cast slurry compost humus cow dung wood ash and microbial fertilizers The fertilizers which comes under green leaf manure are asola, pea plant and algae. Microbial fertilizers are substances that contain microorganisms which help to increase the fertility of soil. Examples of microbial fertilizers are Rhizobium acetobacter, Asosprillum students we learned about fertilizers different types of fertilizers and we classified the fertilizers into these different groups hope you all are understood this concept well students are you tired of learning no very good very good now we can make our learning some more interesting Are you ready? Okay, we are going for a quiz program. Are you excited? Okay, in this program there are two groups. The groups are boys and girls. In this quiz there is two rounds. 
In first round, I will ask two questions for each groups and the scores will be given according to the right answer. And in the second level, that is a rapid lightning round. In that round, I will ask only one question and the score will go to the team answering the correct answer at first. So, you should be very careful to answer. Shall we start our quiz program? Okay, the first question goes to the team girls. Okay, I will ask the question and there will be three options for each question. So, listen carefully and answer the correct one. The first question for girls is, which of the following is an example of green leaf manure? I will repeat the question once. Which of the following is an example of green leaf manure? Options A. Asola B. Wood ash C. Humus Which is the correct answer? Yes, very good. The correct answer is option A. Asola Okay, now let's move into our Second question. Our second question for team boys. Here comes your question. Which of the following is not one of the six essential elements of plant needed? Your options are option A, nitrogen, option B, radium, option C, potassium. Which is the correct answer? Yes, very good. The answer is B, radium. Very good. Shall we continue? Okay, girls, here is your next question. Find the odd one out. Find the odd one out. Your options are option A, rhizobium, option B, asosprillum, option C, algae. Which is the correct answer? Correct answer is algae. Very good. Why algae is correct answer? Because rhizobium and asosprilla are microorganisms. Algae is a green leaf manner. Very good. Very good. Now let's move to the next question for boys. Urea, potash, and NPK are all examples of what type of fertilizers? Your options are green leaf manure, bio fertilizers, chemical fertilizers. Which is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is option C, chemical fertilizers. Very good. Here is your last question. What is manure? Option A, chemical substance. Option B, decaying organic matter. Option C, byproduct of oil production. Which is the correct answer? Yes, decaying organic matter. Okay, students, now we can move to our follow up activities. The first one what are the things to be taken care of when we use microbial fertilizers what are the things to be taken care of when we use microbial fertilizers the second one is why application of fertilizers become essential for better crop yield why application of fertilizers become essential for better crop yield the third one is prepare biofertilizers and use it in your kitchen garden. Prepare biofertilizers and add these fertilizers in your kitchen garden. Students, hope you all understood today's lesson. We learned about fertilizers, the definition of fertilizers, examples of fertilizers and different classifications of fertilizers. We also learned that excess use of chemical fertilizers is not good for 
our nature and we should use more bio fertilizers and green leaf manure the farmers are the persons who are taking a very important responsibility they are feeding us so we should respect farmers and we should prepare our own kitchen garden and we should cultivate crop plants okay students hope you all understood today's lesson and uh, we will meet in the next class thank you